Doc, are there any exercises that, you know, you would recommend that we should do just to sort of maybe get our brain fit? Yeah, the brain loves being challenged. So anything new helps the brain. And whether that's, for instance, learning a new language, having a new hobby, doing dancing, getting a new, you know, interest in life, that grows the brain. How can you challenge the brain? Do do things differently each day. So, for instance, don't just do the same drive home every day. Oftentimes you get home and you think, I can't even remember the trip home. It's like you're unconscious and you think, have I got a memory problem? No, your brain switches off. So what you want to do is keep on challenging the brain and driving new function. So we also know that cells that fire together wire together, and that's the basis of plasticity. So we know that if you can try and increase different approaches, you'll strengthen the connections across brain networks, which is important for brain health. The brain does get bored. Oh, really? So that's one of the reasons, maybe I, I, I can't remember why who told me this, but I, I change hands with toothbrushes. Like some mornings I'll do left, some mornings I'll do right, some mornings I'll start on the right and start, or another one's I'll start on the left. So you're saying that Perfect. stuff is actually like a brain exercise. It's an important brain exercise. And I think deep down you're a brain enthusiast. So I think you've got, you, you love this challenge. And I think we all have to do these things. This The challenge is incredibly important for brain health. Could, could that be, um, uh, and a reason why people, when they do something they don't want to do, for example, let's say it's middle of winter and, um, and I'm all nice and cozy and warm and I jump in one of those ice baths and my, I feel great after it, but exactly. I don't want to get in it. But exactly. after it, I think I'm glad I did that. Yeah. And the brain is, is, is re- releases its sort of pleasure hormones because of that. So you, you feel good afterwards because you know you've done something. The brain likes it. It's a release. But I didn't want to do it in the first place. So, but, but I, once I did it, I feel good. Exactly. Okay, that's interesting. So sort of you've got to keep – it's a bit like going to the gym. You can't, if you go to the gym and do the same exercise, same weight every day Boring. for the rest of your life, you won't – nothing changes. Yeah. So you've got to keep tricking your body. So you've got to keep tricking your brain too. Yeah. And I think, you know, learning new tasks, learning new languages. I mean, the brain is always ready to be activated. Is there any point in time in your age when you should stop that or just keep doing it? You've got to keep doing it. So, and, 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 you know, is maybe that's one of the reasons why retirement's not a great idea because it sort of puts you in a position where you're pretty much no longer challenging anything and you're, you know, as we go to one, it's funny you should say because I was only thinking about the other day, you know, as you get older, you've accumulated more, you've got less stress in your life, you tend to get into this rhythm of doing exactly the same thing every day and you're comfortable. And I often wondered to myself, is that a reason why we age? Because we're no longer challenged. It is. And that, that's also recently been brought out by the Lancet Commission. Social engagement and new experiences are part of the modifiable approaches to preventing neurodegeneration and, and managing it. So it's incredibly important to be part of your community, to be doing different things, to stay involved. And as you say, Detaching yourself and retiring, pulling yourself out and, and doing your own thing is not good for the brain. Well, mate, I am not going to retire, whatever <laughs> happens. <laughs> We're all happy. <laughs>